Okay, I am so excited about this free coming soon template that we have. Um, this is just a super awesome way to gather emails before your website launch so you can tell people um, as soon as it launches, people that are interested. Um, it's also nice because if you don't already have a live website, um, this is a nice way that you can set this up so that people aren't going to your website and seeing all these changes you're making or um, if your website is just in the middle of construction. So anyways, um, this coming soon template is super easy um, to navigate. It's super easy to um, make it your own and to customize. So I'm just gonna hurry and walk you through how you're gonna customize this. So um, this is actually just two blocks. So there's this top banner block and then this photo block. So basically, if you wanna change these words, you just hover, hover over this. Um, I selected that all and I'll say something like, new website coming soon or um, working on something really hard. We can't wait to show you. Okay, so super easy. Um, and then this photo. So um, if you don't have any brand photos yet, you can look on unsplash.com for some, uh, free, some, some free images that you can use. Um, I just got some photos from these clients, so I'm just gonna show you how to update this. So this was a free stock image from Unsplash. Um, this is a interior designer client, so I thought this kind of matched. Um, but what you're gonna do is gonna click on this gear. I've already uploaded the photos to the media library um, in WordPress, but if you scroll down, so make sure that you're, if you're on appearance and then you're selecting this outer um, box, not one of these, this outer box, scroll down till you see this, you're gonna click add image and I'm just gonna select one of both of them. Um, if there is one, I'm going to choose one that is landscape versus portrait. Okay, I'm just going to click on this one. Um, and you'll see just because it's mostly a wide website, that's why I'm looking for something that is more of a landscape image. Okay, so I'm going to leave this as is. But if you want to change this color, let's say you're going to click on this inner box. Okay. And then here's the background color. So you can obviously make it as opaque or clear as you want. Then you can change the color. Um, if you have colors, like if you have their hex code, um, take it all the way up and then click on this, these arrows right here. And that's where the hex code will come up. However, if it is clear in some capacity, that will not show up. Um, cause hex codes are only full color. So you can paste in the hex code here, even if you just want to use like white, which the text is white. So we don't want to do that. Um, I'm just going to make it like a nice olive green. Okay. And I actually really do like being able to see it. So that is very, I like that. I'm going to actually hurry and copy this color so I can use it up top too. Okay. Then I'm going to take it down. Okay. So that's how you change that background color. And then to change this background color, click on this gear under banner, look for this background color. And then if it's not already on the hex, just click the arrows until you get there. Okay, paste that. So now those kind of match how they were before, like with the tan. Okay, so this could be something like Obviously, this can say whatever you want it to say. It can say coming soon. It can say um, you could delete this and put in your logo. And then kind of a call to action here I like. So join our email list for updates. So you're the first to know when we launch. So 
Maybe you have a freebie, maybe you have something else. Um, but this is just a really quick way, okay? And then let's say you need more information from them. You'll click on this edit module, this gear here, and add a form element. Okay, then if you need to change the text, again, if you like know what text you're using or they're using already, um, you can make that match. So go to font styles, um, default font. You can tell that's up here and down here. You can change the height of the lines. You can change the font. You can change the color, the spacing, all the things. Okay, I'm gonna change that here too. And I actually have both of the, um, I have the new font style, so this one right here. Um, I have it in a black and a white for you. Um, that's because like, let's say your background picture is really light, you're gonna wanna use this dark one. If it's really dark, kind of like this one, white one, the white works really well. Um, and then you can change this as well. Obviously you could make them match. Um, I'm just not going to do that. I actually like the fonts that I was using. So I'm going to click undo because I like those. And then I'm going to click save. So, um, right now, this is the live design. Um, this is what people are going to see. Um, make sure that you go to settings. So here on the left hand side under pro photo, click settings and go to forms and make sure you put in your email address here. Um, I'll put in my client's email address here or, um, or whatever, you know, whatever email you want it sent to. You can also um, put in some HTML code here. Um, that's in an, to, to do that, what you're gonna have to do is put that in as a widget I'll put that video next. Um, I'll just attach it to the end of this on how to put in a widget in Profoto. Um, so let's say you're using Flowdesk or MailChimp or whatever, and you want to input that form here. So this is just the form that I've created with this template. If you have a different HTML form that you want to do, um, just stay on just just stay on this video. Um, it'll show you the on the next slide how to input HTML into your Profoto design. But as is, um, this is good to go. You'll get an email with their email and you can add them to your list manually. Um, this should be all that you need.